on guys welcome back to the Ra. so we're back on our redstone world and we're working on the computer so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make our actual T flip-flop device uh, in the lines that allow us to display each and every letter on the screen after you get off the keyboard so currently we have the keyboard set up where instead of levers um, or switches or whatever you want to call them we actually have pressure plates so it's more like an actual keyboard experience okay However, if I were to go ahead and say, okay, on the controller, I want to type in, I don't know, B1, and then I go ahead and type A, it'll go ahead and type A. Yeah, sure. But then after a few seconds, redstone signal is going to wear out, and then it's no longer going to display A. So our T flip-flops will go ahead and enable us to do that. Now, T flip-flop is a very simple way to go ahead and make it so a simple input by a pressure plate or button uh, will allow the signal to stay until it's talked to again. So since we have them set up so closely, and like I said, I have them set up so they're spaced out every other one, and if you do not currently have this, I recommend that um, because it's a lot easier to do. It's still pretty difficult and compact, but what I have it doing is I currently have it set up so this one is right here, then the next one, and the next one down is three. And then I start back up the top, one, then the next one is two, next one is three, start back up, this one is here, that one's further down, that one's the furthest, and this one, that one, that one. So quickly I'm just going to show you guys how to actually build one of these, and mine will be up at the very front instead of the middle or the back, okay? So what you want to do is we have our current line, this is a normal line, this is running to one of the letters, okay? We're going to take out one of, uh, a little section where the actual T-flop flop is going to go. So we're going to build up like that, like a little staircase. And we can get out probably that much, okay? And we're going to build up the staircase one more. We're going to take a yellow block. And we're going to place it at the same spot that this uh, redstone line was, okay? And then one diagonally to it just like that. Take a redstone torch and place it just like that, okay, on the side of that top block. A piston that faces this, this direction, normal piston, mind you, with the red block. We can build out two more, actually three more for the red block, okay? And put a normal piston again facing towards the other piston this time. Get rid of that other block, okay? Now you're going to go ahead and you're going to place your uh, blue or whatever color you have building block up. We're going to place that back, okay? And we're going to run redstone up here. And we'll place the block right next to it so it cuts off the interference. We're just going to run it on top of it. So it's just going to be followed up the staircase. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to place a redstone torch on this side where the, uh, the initial piston was. Place one on this side and make sure they're both on here above the pistons. Okay. And then run this back over to here and make sure that it's at the same height as uh, this top block. Okay. Just like that. So now when you add a quick little signal, I'll get rid of this so I can do that. So say I add a pressure plate. Let's actually get a legit pressure plate for this. So say I add a pressure plate. It'll go ahead and send the signal. And it'll go ahead and say, okay, it was only a simple like three second signal from a pressure plate, but it's always going to stay on or vice versa. If we do it again, it'll always stay off. Okay. So it's a very simple thing to do. I just Cannot stress enough, when you first uh, place the torch, place it on this side. That way we don't have it so it always is on because we want them always off until they're told to be on. And if you don't, then you're going to have to go ahead and like break it and then place a torch every single time just to reset it back to that side. So there you go. That's how you make the T flip-flop. And just do that for every single one of these letters that you have, okay? And you need to do it on every single letter on every single segment. And also make sure that it is after this cutoff piece, okay? It just makes things a lot easier, okay? So thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helped you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up down below. And thanks for watching this series. See you guys next time where we work on... I have no idea, but we work on something. So thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye.